fixed bed absorption devices packed with uh, absorbents such as um, metal organic frameworks or zeolites operate in a transient manner. The uh, bulk gas phase concentrations within the uh, fixed bed vary with uh, the distance z along the bed and with time t. At any z and t, the adsorbate molar loadings within the particle varies along uh, with the radius. At any z and, um, position and time t, the uh, molar loading at the uh, position r equals rc, the external surface of the uh, spherical particle, is uh, in thermodynamic equilibrium with the uh, bulk gas phase mixture. This equilibrium is usually determined by use of the ideal absorbed solution theory. The intraparticle diffusion is commonly de described by Fick's law or the maxwell stefan formulation that is uh, really necessary for use in kinetic separations. The uh, description of the uptake of the components within the particle forms um, a small part of the uh, computational load to determine the uh, transient uh, development of concentrations profiled within the fixed bed and uh, the determination of uh, the breakthroughs that are important to describe mixture separations and uh, such breakthroughs are of vital importance in the uh, design of fixed bed absorbers. In view of the uh, numerical complexity of transient breakthrough simulations for a uh, description of the transient breakthrough simulation methodolo methodology, I refer you to my paper published in um, 2020 in ACS Omega. Watch also my um, video on uh, transient breakthrough simulations on my YouTube channel. The, uh, in view of the uh, complexity of the uh, breakthrough simulation, it uh, is helpful to have a simplified model to describe transient uptake within the particle. And that is where we uh, focus our attention in this presentation. When a spherical particle of radius r sub c is uh, exposed to a bulk fluid mixture whose composition is maintained constant, the uh, constituents in the fluid mixture will diffuse inside the particle. The LDF model is a simplified linearized description of transient uptake of uh, the components within the particle. The LDF model assumes that fixed law of diffusion holds and uh, each of the components in the mixture diffuses independent of um, the partner um, guest molecules. The LDF model was developed by the German scientist Eugen Glukov. Glukov um, migrated later to um, England and the, the classic paper describing the LDF model was published in the Transactions of the Faraday Society in 1955. The uh, LDF model applies um, not only to um, spherical 
particles of solids, but it can be applied to vapor bubbles on distillation trays, liquid drops on a sieve tray in liquid liquid extraction processes, ion exchange particles, and it is also applicable to microporous zeolites and metal organic frameworks for description of um, mixture separations in um, fixed bed adsorbers. Indeed, the uh, focus of my uh, presentation today is on application of the LDF model to describe uh, mixture separations in uh, fixed bed adsorbers. I also refer you to my own paper on the uh, applicability of the LDF model for uh, fixed bed adsorption separations. And uh, this paper was published in um, Separations and Purification Technology in 2018. To begin with, let us examine um, the uptake of ethane into uh, LTA4A zeolite. LTA4A is zeolite consists of uh, cages of uh, 743 cubic angstrom volume. Each cage is separated from adjacent cages by narrow windows with an opening of 4 angstrom. The experimental data on the component uptake of ethane is shown by the red circles. This is for the adsorption phase, where the uh, y-axis represents the uh, fractional approach to equilibrium. The x-axis is the square root of the time. After equilibration, the uh, Adsorbed ethane is desorbed by exposing the uh, external surface to uh, vacuum, and we have uh, the desorption curve. The experimental data are from uh, Garg and Ruthven, published in Chemical Engineering Science in 1972. Let us uh, set ourselves the task of uh, modeling the uh, transient adsorption and desorption cycles. We uh, develop a model to describe transient uptake of ethane in uh, 4A zeolite. The uh, transient uptake is described by this uh, partial differential equation where qi rt represents the molar loading of component i which is ethane at position r and time t ni is the uh, molar flux of ethane and the molar flux of ethane is described by fick's law as being uh, a diffusivity times the gradient in the molar loading Rho is the uh, mass density of the uh, crystal framework. If uh, the Fick diffusivity is considered to be constant and independent of loading, the partial differential equation may be solved analytically. The uh, analytic solution was first derived by R. L. Geddes, who was a pioneer in distillation technology. The motivation of R.L. Geddes to uh, develop the analytic solution was to apply it to uh, describe diffusion inside uh, spherical vapor bubbles on distillation trays. And the Geddes model is widely used to calculate the Murphy point efficiencies in distillation columns. In the context of um, transient uptake within 4A zeolite, the analytic expression is provided here where the uh, left hand side we have uh, a numerator which is a uh, difference in the uh, 
molar loading that is in equilibrium with the bulk gas phase uh, mixture minus the uh, spatially averaged loading at any time t. The denominator is the uh, equilibrium loading minus the initial loading within the uh, spherical crystallite. The right hand side is uh, an infinite series with a, a parameter that is described by um, di divided by the uh, square of the uh, radius of the crystal. The uh, experimental data for transient uptake in the absorption cycle is uh, very well described by this analytic solution taking this value di divided by rc squared as 1.1 times 10 minus 3 with the units of uh, seconds to the minus 1. The desorption phase, the experimental data, is modeled with uh, the uh, parameter di divided by rc squared equal to 6 times 10 to the minus 4 per second. We note that the uh, desorption cycle is uh, slower than the adsorption cycle and uh, the uh, reasons for this uh, asymmetry in the adsorption and desorption cycles is uh, due to the thermodynamic corrections that come into play and uh, for further details I refer you to this uh, video presentation, Unity Diffusibilities in Micropores. The uh, right hand side requires at least about 20 to 30 terms to get an accurate representation of the uh, um, spatially averaged loadings within the particle. And the motivation of the development of the uh, LDF is to reduce the uh, computational time that is required in such calculations requiring um, a large number of terms. In the LDF approximation for transient uptake within um, particles, developed by Glukov in his uh, 1955 uh, classic paper, the uh, transient development of the spatially averaged loading at time t is written as a linear function of the uh, driving force for transport that is considered to be the difference between the equilibrium loading and the spatially averaged loading. The constant of proportionality is this uh, term here, 15 times the uh, thick diffusivity of the component divided by the square of the radius of the crystal. We have uh, a simple solution, analytic solution to this uh, linearized equation and that is uh, written in this uh, form where we have uh, the numerator as QI equilibrium loading minus the uh, spatially average loading divided by the uh, uh, denominator term which is uh, the equilibrium loading minus the spatially average loading at time t equals zero, which is the initial loading within the crystal. An important point to note is 
that uh, the uh, LDF model applies when each component diffuses independent of its partner. Now this assumption comes into question for kinetic separations as I will discuss in the uh, following slide. The uh, Glukov LDF model is based on the Fick law of diffusion and uh, each component in the mixture is assumed to, to diffuse independent of its partners. The uh, approach to equilibrium is monotonic in character. We examine here experimental data for uptake of CO2 um, ethane uh, mixtures in DDR zeolite for three different bulk gas mixtures. In the first case, we have 20 kilopascal each for CO2 and um, ethane in the uh, bulk gas mixture. Here we have uh, 40 kilopascals of uh, CO2 in the bulk gas mixture and uh, 20 kilopascal of ethane in the bulk gas mixture. Here we have 60 kilopascal and 20 kilopascal for CO2 and ethane in the bulk gas phase. In all three cases, ethane is seen to uh, approach its equilibrium in a monotonic manner. However, the more mobile component CO2 that has a poorer absorption strength in comparison with C2H6 shows an overshoot in its spatially average loading in all three cases. This overshoot is quite prominent and reproducible. The Glukov model anticipates a monotonic approach to equilibrium for both components because it assumes each component diffuses independently of its partners in the mixture. In order to uh, cater for these transient overshoots, that are of importance in kinetic separations, we need to modify the Giddes model by use of the maxwell stefan formulation instead of the Fickian formulation. In my paper published in uh, Separation and Purification Technology in 2018, as uh, cited here, shows how the Geddes model can be adapted to handle kinetic uh, separations.